Hey everybody, Truth Search here. I promised you that I would show you how I made this voice for this computer game. This is actually not the, the lines in the game. This is just another project I'm doing for somebody else. But I'm using the same, uh, same sound so you can hear what the sound is. I'm going to play the way it sounds, the final version, so you can know whether you want to watch the rest of this and see how I did it or not. You know, if it sucks, you never want to watch, waste your time watching the rest of the video. Uh, so I'm going to play some of this not all of it, just up to here somewhere. And then I'll open up a brand new Reaper file and do it from scratch and show you how I did it and talk about it. I don't know why I keep yelling and turning back to the camera because I have a lapel mic on now. Anyway, my camera's going to run out and my DAT player's going to run out and it's going to be a bad thing. So let me keep going. All right, let's just play it and see what we get. Darkness. It nurtures the dread and welcomes the dead. It feeds the fears of mortal men, and in the end, consumes them. But I find solace in the night, a refuge from the ever-watchful light. Deep inside the black and forgotten grottoes of the earth, I move and breathe. It is a blood pumping through my being. It feeds my soul. I glow with its power. Darkness is my world. Okay, so uh, that was basically the effect. And uh, anyway, that's a little poem I wrote for this guy. He had another thing, and then I just totally wrote something from scratch. So um, what I'm going to do now is get rid of that file and start from scratch. So I made a, um, we can get rid of this too, uh, delete track. So, Normally, you know, I can start a, a, a Reaper file, a Reaper project. So I want to insert the file. All right. So this is how it sounded uh, with when I first put it in. This is like me, but with a little compression, oral exciting, limiting, and um, st stuff. Uh, clean, you know, clean, not clean up all the breaths and stuff. Darkness. It nurtures the dread and welcomes the dead. It feeds the fears of mortal men and in the end consumes them. Okay, so you see that's not particularly deep and dragon-like. Okay? So what I want to do is add some effects. I want to, I want to take that and just manipulate it. Uh, and the, the trick to this one is two pitch shifters, way low, and then back up a little bit with different timing so it makes that inner modulation going blah, 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 blah. And that's what you're hearing that makes it almost sound like that dragon, you know, more of a deep sound uh, than you would normally get. So I go into my effects and I want to do uh, a pitch shift, so I'll grab one of those. All right, so there's one pitch shift, and what I'll do, I'll select the uh, the uh, simple windowed pitch shifter and turn stereo off because I don't need that. Okay, and then I'll pitch shift me down, say by ten half steps. All right. And uh, I'll set the time for 30 millisecond window. Let's see. 30 millisecond window and I think 10 millisecond fade was what I had. So now if we listen to that, it's not going to sound great. Darkness. It nurtures the dread and welcomes the dead. So that's not great because it's, t it's too low and it's not intelligible and it doesn't have that warbly effect yet. But that's the first step is to, is to pitch it low and then pitch it back up so that 
we've, we've, we've done two processes that are going to clash a little bit against each other uh, because we're setting different timings and it'll kind of create these gaps in there basically. Uh, so I'll add another pitch shift in there. The same exact kind. Uh, let's see, pitch. Okay, and this time I'll turn stereo off again and I'll select simple windowed. And this time I'm going to shift myself up by, I forget, I forget how many it was. I think it was five. And, and this time I'm not going to set the same settings here because then it, it won't give me that gargly effect. Uh, I'm going to select 10 millisecond window and one millisecond fade. Okay, so I've pitched that 10 minus 10 back up five. So now we're only down five, you know, cumulative. But instead of it sounding down five, it's going to sound down five and a lot of gargly, gravelly stuff, which is going to be cool. Uh, let me make sure that was, that was, thir it was, that's 30 and 10 and 10 and one. I think that's right. Hang on. Let's see. Let me uh, open that open that uh, that project again and just make sure I'm right uh, let's see five yeah that doesn't matter ten and one so that yeah I think that's right all right so we can leave that over there so now we've got this sound and hopefully it's closer darkness it nurtures the dread and welcomes the dead. All right, so now we got the sound gargling uh, because we've 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 set these times up to be different. If I had set 30 milliseconds in both, it wouldn't gargle like that. It would just be a a pitch shift that only goes down five and doesn't sound that great. All right, so that's it. Two pitch shifters, sim simple windowed, uh, and make sure you set your times different. And you can play around with different times to get different sounds. But I found these times to be the more, most natural. And then uh, you can also play with pitching it down more or less in each window and see if, you know, see how that affects.